What is mindfulness? What does it mean to you? I think it's about, for me, finding inner peace and, and being very present in each moment. Seeing what's right in front of you and understanding how you feel in that moment and taking the time to be able to recognize your feelings. What it does for me is allow me to think about what I want to do as opposed to be impulsive about the next moment. So it gives me a chance to think, but it's milliseconds. It's not like I sit there thinking about it. It gives me a chance to be aware of what I want to do next. Is it about so, not always thinking about the future, not absolutely. always worrying about the past, but absolutely. trying to kind of... Trying to connect with this minute, with you, just talking to you and not, well, what did I say next and what, could I, what happens next, but what's happening in this moment? Trying to kind of quiet the narrative going on it in your head. It is what I say all the time. It's like decreasing the noise and increasing the signal. George, you, you use it in sports. I mean, yes. When you talk to athletes, right. you talk to them about being in the zone. Right. When you work with athletes, do you have athletes kind of look at you like, what are you talking about? You want me to start meditating? No, I don't. Uh, Michael Jordan is, um, is, you know, he's very focused and they know that being mindful, being in the moment, and like say when you're in a high state of arousal, this is what separates the experts from the non-experts is when you're in a high state of arousal, your perception of what that means is, well, if you're, if you're a novice, you say, okay, I'm in a high state of arousal, I'm in over my head, I can't do it where the athletes know, like a Michael Jordan, knows that I'm in a high state of arousal, I'm in the right frame of mind to get into the flow. So in other words, this is a challenge, it's good. Is that a moment of mindfulness, being in the zone when you're an athlete? Yes, you're just allowing things to happen and you're just flowing with them. How did you come to mindfulness? Um, well, I had a lot of chronic pain and, and, and I was uh, coming out of recovery from substance abuse and I started uh, learning how to deal with, with my chronic pain and that's how I got into it. And it helped with your pain? It helped with my pain, helped with my recovery. I'm coming up on 30 years clean. You're a, vet, right? a veteran? Yes. Is this something which has helped you as a vet? Oh yes. Um, this practice, I picked it up seriously after Vietnam and uh, it, it's my medication. How do you mean? If I wasn't doing this, I would be on various kinds of meds.